Hi boys and girls, today we're going to listen to an interactive read aloud called Growing Plants. Our interactive read aloud today is an informational text. An informational text means that that gives us true information or facts about a certain topic. So today's topic is about growing plants and we're going to talk about what things plants need to grow. Does anyone know what plants need to grow? What might they need? This always reminds me of our field trip that hopefully we'll get to take this year, but if we don't, I'm sure that your teacher or myself will share lots of information with you. But sun, soil, water, and air are all things that plants need to grow. And Mrs. B is a farmer at Triple B Farms and she always tells us those things. And she also has a little song that goes with it. So hopefully we get to do that and hopefully you get to learn that song. It's a lot of fun. So I want you to know some vocabulary words before we begin reading today. A plant a plant has roots, stems, and leaves. Require. If you require something, you need it. So a plant requires water and sun and air and soil to grow. Soak. To soak up something means to take it in. So a plant would soak up the water to help it grow. Harmful, something harmful can hurt you. And crowd, when you crowd something, you push it into a small space. So those are some words that you will hear in our interactive read aloud today. So let's get started. If you have ever been in a forest, you know that trees can grow taller than a house. Over many years, trees reach higher and higher toward the sky. A tree is a type of plant, and a plant is a type of living thing. Like all living things, including humans, plants need some help in order to grow. A plant can be anything from a tree or a flower to a carrot or a patch of moss. Even though plants live in different places and look different from each other, all plants require the same things to survive and to grow. Those things are food, water, air, sunlight, and space. Ooh, I did not mention space earlier. Does all of this sound familiar? It should, because you need all of these things to grow too. We all know what it feels like to be hungry or thirsty. Plants need food and water just like people do. Plants do not chew or swallow though. Instead, their roots simply soak up food and water from the soil around them. A plant needs to have just the right weather and soil. If a plant does not get the food and water it needs, it can die. A plant's roots are the twisty parts that keep it steady in the ground. Roots grow in many directions, downward and out to the sides. The roots pull food from the soil, which is another word for dirt. So soil and dirt are the same thing. Plant food is made of materials that keep living things healthy. Different materials have different jobs. Some materials help the plant grow flowers and seeds. Others help the plant fight diseases. A plant uses water to move materials from its roots to all of its other parts, like the stem and the leaves. Most plants also use water to make their own food. Do you want to learn how? Let's find out. It's true, plants can make some food on their own. In order to do this, they require sunlight, air, and water. Most of the action happens on the leaf. With the ingredients of light, air, and water, the leaf makes sugar. Then the plant uses the sugar to grow. Plants have a sweet tooth, just like people do. When plants make sugar, 
They also give off a gas that all living things need. This gas makes up part of the air that we breathe. Now you know why trees and other plants are so important to humans and other animals. We can't live without them. When we keep forests healthy, we help the entire planet. The more plants we grow, the better our air will be. It is also important to keep smoke, garbage, and other types of harmful materials out of the air and water. This waste blocks sunlight and makes water dirty. And as you know, as you now know, plants need good sunlight and clean air and water. Plants grow almost anywhere. You might find one poking up through a crack in the sidewalk, or you might see a branch growing between two big rocks. And you might ask yourself, how did that plant find room to grow? A plant can grow just about anywhere, from the bottom of the ocean to the dry desert. Still, plants need space to grow fully. You might see a stubby stem come up through a hole in your driveway but you'll never see a tall elm tree there. Roots need plenty of soil so they can soak up food and water. In a forest, trees must grow tall so they can get enough sunlight. Just as you need space to run and play, plants need land to grow tall and wide. Plants are having a tough time these days. Humans are using up more and more land for buildings and roads. Instead, people must save land for plants. If we crowd plants into small spaces, they will be small and unhealthy, or they will not grow at all. In the end, what do plants and humans need? They need each other. This last page here, talking about plants growing almost anywhere, reminds me of when I went on my honeymoon, and we went to Hawaii, and we visited a national park called Mount Haleakala, and there is a plant on Mount Haleakala called a silver sword. And it is the only plant that will grow on Mount Haleakala. It's very high and it's very cold there, even though it's in Hawaii. When you're at that high elevation, it is very, very cold. And the silver sword is a really, really cool plant. I can't pull it up on my computer right now, but if you have a chance to look up a silver sword, it's a pretty cool plant and it was really, really cool to see it and to learn about that and that it was the only plant that will grow on Mount Haleakala. So I'm going to ask you a couple questions about the story we just read. On the first page, where is this picture? Where are they? It looks like a forest, right? And what do the trees need in order to grow? What were some things that the story talked about that they need to grow? On the second page, what part of the plant is shown here in this picture? How does the plant use this part? So. What is shown here in this picture? That's the roots, right? Most of these roots are growing down, not too many out to the sides. And how does the plant use this part? The roots are used to soak up the nutrients in the soil and the water it needs to help it grow. On the third page, why are leaves important parts of plants? So what did we read that told you why leaves are important and how do the leaves help the plant make food? Remember that the plants made sugar, they like sugar just like we do and they give off a gas that all living things need. So they help all everything. And on the last page, where does each plant live? Why do plants need space in order to fully grow? So look at all these different places. Plants can sometimes grow up in cracks in, in driveways or on sidewalks. Plants can grow in the ocean, in the desert. Okay, I hope that you enjoyed this story and that you learned some new information about plants. Have a great day.